Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 30th of January 1649, King Charles I of England, Scotland and Ireland was executed outside the Banqueting House in London. The English Civil War had begun shortly after Charles's failed attempt to arrest the five members, but by the end of 1648 the Royalists had been defeated and Charles was arrested. The King's trial began on the 1st of January 1649. He was accused of a wicked design to erect and uphold in himself an unlimited and tyrannical power to rule according to his will, and to overthrow the rights and liberties of the people of England. He was also held personally responsible for all the death and destruction caused by the Civil War, which had resulted in an estimated 6% of the entire population losing their lives. Charles, as a believer in the divine right of kings, refused to recognise the authority of the court. Despite this, he was found guilty of committing high treason and was sentenced to death by beheading. The sentence was passed on the 27th of January and the death warrant signed by 59 commissioners. Charles was executed on the 30th of January, having requested to wear two shirts as protection from the cold so that the crowd wouldn't think he was shaking from fear. Six days later, Parliament abolished the monarchy. On the 30th of January 1661, the year after the restoration of the monarchy and exactly 12 years after Charles's execution, the body of Oliver Cromwell was exhumed from his grave in Westminster Abbey. Cromwell, who had been one of the regicides who signed Charles's death warrant and went on to become Lord Protector during the Interregnum, was then posthumously executed and his head placed on a spike. Music